So we don't have any extra things up. Okay, voice is off. Water balls are fine. Ready to start. Five, four, and then I'm going to start recording. Three, two, one. Okay, this is Mrs. Bevan's math class, and we're going to demonstrate how we do a flood drill. Okay, so if there was a flood drill, we'd have water coming into our building, right? Yeah, so, yeah. it could be the winter, it could be the summer. Do we ever know when it's gonna be happening? Yeah. So, one of the most important things we do when it's a flood drill is we need to stand on top of our chairs. So can everyone stand on top of their chairs, please? Not on top of their desk, just on top of their chairs. Okay, we'll answer questions at the end. Make sure both feet are on top of the chair in the middle of the chair because if we were to slip off, we'd fall into the water. The water might not be too high though, okay? Another thing we need to do is if it were the winter, would we want our clothes to be wet and things? Okay, we need to take off our shoes and we need to take off our socks. Just set them on your chairs so that they're... On your desk, I guess that's fine too. Your socks. Take off your socks as well. Sweet. Yeah. Oh yes, but yeah, that's right. Because if you put your shoes under your armpits, then will you have your shoes for later if we get out of the building? Okay. Yeah. So you put your shoes under your armpits. Take your socks off and put your socks inside of your shoes. I guess before you put them in your armpits. <laughs> How do you put oh, remember I told you it will be a little bit silly, but we can't be laughing. Wow, great job. Those of you who are doing it without laughing or talking. Okay, everybody, I'm not going to take off my socks because I have to hold this too. But So you have your shoes underneath your armpits. Now, why might we have our shoes underneath our armpits so that we land? How come? So if the flooding stops, you can go outside with your shoes. Yes, and why else? Do we have some, we're, we're freeing parts of our body too by having our shoes. Mackenzie, what else? Because the water might be coming up, so if we put them like on our desk, yes. it might get wet. Yes, perfect. And do you have, are your arms able to kind of move around if you have them just under your armpits? Yes. Okay, how many of you know how to swim? Raise your hand. Okay, now if you don't know how to swim the best, okay, that's okay because is our water going to be over our heads usually? Maybe. Not too much, but it might, okay? We need to hold our breath, just we need to practice holding our breaths just in case as well. Because if the water were to get kind of high, would we have to hold our breath? Could we breathe underwater? Stand on our desk. No, we don't sit on our desk because they're still wobbly. Uh -huh. And with water running underneath them, chairs are more stable than desks. Okay, so this is kind of a silly part, but we're going to practice holding our breath three times for 15 <laughs> seconds. And we're going to duck down a little bit as if we were going underneath the water. Okay, ready? Go. One. Two, three, four, five. If you had to breathe, that's okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You guys look awesome. Fourteen, fifteen. Breathe. <laughs> um, okay, another time. We gotta do it two more times. We'll do ten seconds. That was a little bit long. And for the younger grades, I don't know if they can hold their breath that long. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Maybe do some swimming strokes in between just in case we had to do that. Okay, one more time. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Okay? You might be a little bit tired, right? After holding our breath. Now, who knows? one of the swimming strokes we might have to do if our water were too high. It rarely would it get this high, no. but it could be. Nicole. You um, have to like swim your arms and kick. What is that called? That's called dog Freestyle, okay? Yeah. What else, Andrew? Uh, so, I had lessons, so you, you take this and you turn your head so you can take a breath. Oh, if but, it were that high, yeah. But sometimes you don't, because sometimes you can just go like that and pop up. But if you don't take a breath constantly, then you might get out of air. It might Good. start to sink, and then if you try and get up, Okay. And the water's to the ceiling, you won't be able to get in. Good. Demi, tell us another one. Um, can do the doggy paddle. Okay, that is one too. What about this one? I'm doing it with one arm so I can oh. hold this. Callie, what's that one? It's the frog stroke. Yeah, the breaststroke. Oh, we might even have to float on our back and do some backstroke oh, as well. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Wow, you guys are doing an excellent job standing on your chairs so still. This is perfect because just like in an earthquake when our chairs maybe wobble a little bit with water when there gets water underneath it. Okay, now one other thing I forgot too. What if the water gets so high that it's almost overflowing our chairs? What could we do with our pants so we don't take them off? Yeah, so let's go ahead and practice rolling up our pants. If you have shorts, roll them up still because if, if the water were that high, <laughs> if you have a skirt, don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, Alex got to go way higher than that. You're doing good though. Lance, a little bit higher than that because if the water were higher, we needed a little bit up. Let's see, looking good in the back. Let me zoom in so they can see how high your pants are. Good, Kelton. Oh, Lance, thank you for raising your hand and not talking. Do you have a question? I lost my shoes. Oh, now what would we do if we lost our shoes? That's a really good point. Would we just leave them there or we'd go under and try and find them? Leave them there. Just like in an earthquake, if we don't have time to grab our jacket, we just need to leave it and head outside, right? Okay, now a couple more things we need to do. Do we want to stay in the building the whole time? Okay. Yes. So let's go ahead and put our socks back on, put our shoes back on, and we're just going to pretend like we were able to get out. Sometimes we'll have our socks and shoes. Well, actually, let's do this. Put your socks back on. We do want to practice the shoes under our armpits just in case, though. So, yeah, if you lost your shoes, we're going to go out into the hallway and practice. This is my favorite stroke. You go like this, and the triangle, and you go under your Socks on. If you don't have socks, then don't put anything on your feet, because we're still going to practice our shoes under our armpits. So, I know it kind of hurts a little bit, but if this were an emergency, we'd want to make sure we're doing it right. Just don't worry about the socks. Just do that. When you're ready, show me by sitting in your chairs with your shoes underneath your armpits. Your socks should be on. What? Well, that's how we practice rolling up our pants. Keep your pants up just in case because we'd want our clothes not to get wet because of hypothermia, right? If it's winter time. We don't, we can't take off our clothes, but if we roll them up the best we can, then at least not all of it gets wet. Need shoes underneath your armpits. Some of you have them on your desk, but put them underneath your armpits. Good. Savannah has them right underneath her armpits. Mackenzie's doing the same thing. Christian, excellent. That's the perfect place for those. Okay. Now, we might be able to walk out into the hallway to exit the building. We might have to swim a little bit, so we're going to practice both. We'd line up at the door if we could. Okay, I know that sounds silly, but this really could happen. We're going to practice lining up at the door like we would for a fire drill. Oh, thank you to those who aren't talking but are listening. And we might have to practice swimming down the hallway. Okay, a little bit. Remember, we still got to be on our best behavior so that when they watch this, we're doing exactly what we need to. So if you would keep your shoes underneath your armpits, push in your chairs and line up at the door, please. Wow, Gabriel has his shoes under. He's not talking. He's lining up. Okay, now if we had to do some swimming, if the water was high, practice that down the hallway as well. <laughs> so do a little bit of forward arms just in case. <laughs> oh, remember, we got to be respectful. This is going to go to the younger grades. Make sure you're having straight faces. You're not being silly about it. We don't want it to show them that it's a silly thing. Go down to the door and start coming back. Show me some arms just in case we had to use our arms. Good job having your shoes underneath your armpits so that we can wade in the water correctly. I don't like this. I Oh my god. So start coming back. Annika has her shoes right under where they need to be. Yes, no talking. Now let's show them how we practice holding our breath. Let's do two of those 10 seconds. Ready? Go. I'm impressed. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe. One more time. One, two, three. Start coming back. This way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? This 
Jesus.